Hey, what's happening, people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you lot are doing well, and welcome to today's video, which is a Chelsea news video where I will be talking about two things. The first story is me commenting on Bruce Buck's recent interview with The Guardian, where he came out and spoke loads about how Roman Abramovich is still involved with Chelsea Football Club daily, well integrated and well involved with his club in West London. And the second story is about how Jose Mourinho, ex-Chelsea boss, wants to bring ex-Chelsea player Nathan Aki over to his new club, Spurs. Yep, Mourinho wants to turn Nathan Ake into a Tottenham player. But there's a twist. Chelsea do have a buyback clause for a very, very reasonable sum in today's footballing climate. And we're going to be talking about would it be worth bringing them back into this current Chelsea side? Lots to talk about and some really interesting stories there. Quick plug! Why don't you there subscribe to my gaming channel, Yan Plays, where you can watch me play FIFA 20 Chelsea career mode. It's really, really funny and it's getting pretty intense now and people seem to be really enjoying it. So click the link at the top of the description to come check it out. It's a load of fun. Oh yeah, why not subscribe to this channel, Football Therapy? Do us a favour, mate. Click the bell notifications icon because that's important. And if you want to help me out, like the video. And let's get into today's news story. Right then, let's start with Bruce Buck, who was recently interviewed by The Guardian and gave loads of comments about Chelsea owner Roman Abramovich. Buck commented on the recent stories about Chelsea apparently being up for sale and that Roman Abramovich is losing interest. He says Roman did indeed reject a bunch of bids who thought they could buy Chelsea at a, quote, bargain price, and that Roman remains just as involved with the club as he ever has been. Bruce confirms that Roman Abramovich never had any interest of selling Chelsea Football Club. So off the bat, that's good news. It was all just media nonsense of how he wants to sell, purely because he's just not at the bridge. People assume he doesn't want the club anymore. So this story came from when Roman Abramovich withdrew his UK visa application after his application was delayed. People attributed this to some controversy with him retaliating to the government and some nonsense with Vladimir Putin. Abramovich withdrawing his UK visa application uh, and leaving for a while came with the fact of him cancelling the plans for the new stadium for the moment. It was a big banger, the same people who made the bird's nest, 60,000 seat of capacity, it looked like you know, it wouldn't have just be Tottenham who had the super stadium in England. So as things stand, it's still on hold, maybe indefinitely. But of the suggestions that Abramovich may be planning to sell, Bruce Buck said, so far as I know, absolutely not. To the contrary, I've never heard a word from Mr. Abramovich, let's get ready for a sale, or anything like that. Because of the political situations, there are people who think they might want to buy Chelsea Football Club for a bargain. We do get inquiries and we really have nothing to say to these people. Like I said, Chelsea not for sale. Bruce goes on to say, in terms of being involved and looking at new players, talking about whether to extend players' contracts, do we buy this player, do we sell this player, Abramovich was always intimately involved from day one and is just intimately involved now. He talks to Marina Granovskaya, the board members who supervises the football operations several times a day, every day. Marina has been doing that for seven or eight years. That hasn't changed or let up at all. So, Roman's on the blower every single day to Marina and he's very much got his fingers and all the pies of Chelsea Football Club. Bruce Buck then goes on to comment about Frank Lampard and the youngsters in the academy coming through into the first team at the moment. Buck says the transfer ban has led to more opportunities for the young players. I can't deny that if there wasn't a transfer ban, we might have splurged out on one or two or maybe even three players. So yes, it was some of that. It was Frank Lampard. The players that were ready, a whole collection of things resulted where we are now. It makes Mr. Abramovich very happy because he is very interested in the academy. I would guess he's one of the very few owners that have been into lots of academy matches. So there you have it, Bruce Buck confirming that pretty much the reason why all these youth kids are coming through and Frank Lampard and stuff is probably because of the transfer ban. What the sort of media have speculated is probably true. But he also confirms about what we already know in Roman Abramovich absolutely loving this and have long been a fan of his academy that he's developed and pumped loads of money into. He's always wanted this, this is happening. He used to go to loads of academy games the owner, Roman, is stoked. But another thing that came out of this interview that I thought was kind of interesting is Bruce kept talking about splurging money. 
how they would have bought two, three, four players or something had they had the chance, and maybe these academy kids won't have come through. But what it does indicate is that they are willing to spend a lot at the moment. They've got money to spend on players. This is something that I've reiterated before in these videos. Chelsea do have a high revenue anyway. They finished third in the Premier League, which makes loads of money. They won the Europa League, which is a lot of money. They've got a lot of player sales revenue from Hazard and Morata and stuff. A lot of money. And they make a lot of money out of the loan army. Loads of money. So that's good. It's good to know everyone's really happy. Roman Abramovich with how the academy kids are coming through. They're very happy with Frank Lampard, but they still want to splash some cash. And Bruce Buck was asked about the transfer ban and it potentially being lifted in January. But like a smart man on the board, he didn't comment and said, no, this is a very serious matter. All I can do is confirm that Chelsea stand in the same stance if they think they've done nothing wrong. Smart for him to not comment on that. But I think, given the chance, Chelsea could probably even splash 200 million at the moment. Which is exciting, but also a terrifying prospect in the fact of, do you want to rock the boat and the harmony of what's going on at Chelsea at the moment with everything going well? Which brings me neatly onto the next story. Jose Mourinho wants a centre-back at Tottenham. Now that's unsurprising really, although he probably really does like Alderweireld and Vertonghen, they're getting old now. He wants probably something a bit more vibrant, something to move forward with, and something to rotate with a bit more. He apparently wants Nathan Ake. Now, before I get into any more narrative in this, a lot of people probably want Nathan Ake. He's very young, he's a Dutch international, and does start for the Netherlands sometimes, and remember, he's got Van Dijk and Matthias De Ligt to deal with. He's a super versatile player, can play as a centre-back, can play as a centre-back in a free, can play as a left-back, can play as a left wing-back. He's a goal threat on set pieces, he's athletic, he's technically good, and he's Premier League proven. There's an argument to be made, he's Bournemouth's best player, and he's a centre-back. And really, he should be affordable. Yes, I know, Bournemouth said to Leicester when they tried to replace Harry Maguire, they won £75 million for him, which I think was a little bit of, you're never going to pay that, just wave you away kind of thing. Leicester were fine because they got Suyuncu and I don't think he was that much money. But if a big club comes calling to Bournemouth and Ake does want to go, they would probably sell him for a, what, a big, big amount for them, even if it's not £75 million. And Tottenham might be prepared to pay that. But would Aki want to go? Remember, it was Jose Mourinho that shipped him out and didn't play him in the first place at Chelsea. So you'd probably think no off the bat, but Jose Mourinho has a way of putting honey potion into your ear and getting into your head as a player. So I don't think he has any particular strong allegiances with Chelsea. Sure, he sort of came up through the ranks there. But Chelsea also threw him out to loan, pulled him back, recalled him, threw him out again. So he might not have any particularly strong allegiance with Chelsea. But Chelsea have a buyback clause on Ake for £40 million. Which is really, really, really good value for a Premier League proven centre-back at that age who could be playing at a higher level. I think if Tottenham wanted to buy him, they'd have to pay 40 or more anyway. But Chelsea, if they're thinking of getting a centre-back, they could activate the clause and pull him out from underneath Jose Mourinho. Ake has been linked with a return for Chelsea for a while now. But does that make sense? Chelsea have obviously got four very talented centre-backs. So I've always maintained this. Rudiger, Zuma, Christensen and Tamori. Now, Rudiger's been out injured for a while and it's a bit of a peculiar situation. No one really knows where he's at with his injury and what's going on. Christensen seems to be kind of out of favour. And although often they look very good, Tamori and Zuma, some people are still claiming that you need that sort of one of them to be a bit more of a leader and although Ake is very young he is very much a leader a lot of people think if Chelsea are going to buy a centre back they need to go world record fee cooler Bali style or something like that you know a bit more experience but for me that would be a waste of money sure he might be like one of the two best centre backs in the world but if you look at his age profile and how much money it would be it would be a waste of money for me personally I still subscribe to the theory that Chelsea biggest positional problem is in that centre back it's very much at left back and it's kind of at right wing and maybe maybe at striker if, if Chelsea were to get rid of Giroud if Batshuayi was phased out even more someone to really put the pressure on Tammy Abraham so it's an interesting one but what do you think do you think Chelsea should activate the buyback clause on Ake and make sure Tottenham don't get him but 
with the intention of actually playing him and making him a starter because 40 million is a very reasonable price. Comment down below your thoughts on both of these stories about how did you think Roman was always interested? Because a lot of people thought he was gone, man. And do you think Chelsea need a centre back? And if they do, who would you buy? If you have enjoyed the video today, guys, please do like the video and remember, go check out Yam Plays and subscribe. It's a lot of fun. I'm doing daily videos on that channel as well and a lot of people are enjoying it. So make sure you do click in the link at the top of the description. Remember to follow me on social media as well at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. That's it from me, everyone. You lot enjoy the football, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life, seen trouble. Hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle. Bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper. Sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.